What's up guys, Crazy HD here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on my favorite memory. So, this isn't very a very long story, but it's actually a very cool story, um, kind of funny too. So, it's going to be about the my first date with Jacqueline, which as you guys know is my current girlfriend, and hopefully stays away. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Um, her and I had been talking at, at this point. Uh, about a month. Uh, we started talking September 18th. And we started going out October 22nd, so this is October 21st. So our first date, yes, was before our before we started officially going out, but we made it official that night slash the next morning because it was like after midnight. But anyway, um, so yeah, her and I had talked and said we wanted to do something. And, ooh, voice crack. Oh my god, I haven't had one of those in years. Um, so, we had talked and said we wanted to do something, and I had told her that I kind of wanted to see, I, that I was talking to her to get a, to possibly have a relationship with her, and I wanted to see where it went, and I wanted her to know that I wanted, my intentions were to be more than friends, and she was okay with that, and she said like her feelings were kind of the same way, if I remember correctly. Um, probably considering her and I go out now, but it's besides the point. So anyway, um, so we decided that we wanted to go to Putt Putt. Don't know how, don't know why. Probably because it was cheap, and her and I both are broke. So um, yeah, Putt Putt and. I want to say, I, I, no. So I had talked to her mom and dad, like, like. So, actually, backtracking a little bit. So I get to, I, I, it gets to that night. It was a Friday, like I said, October twenty-first. And her and I, she tells me her address to come pick her up. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, so I'm driving around her neighborhood, and I can't find her house, like, le like legit, like, cause so. She lives on the corner of a busy street and like a like a small street. And uh, if you get if you get the one address from the busy street, it'll have you stop in the middle of the busy street. So she usually gives people the address, I think, for the house across the street or something. So she gave me that address and she's like, Oh, my driveway's a hill, so I can't find her house for shit. I don't see any hills of a driveway because I'm picturing this big downhill slope. No, it's literally like a three foot small angled hill it's like not even a hill I wouldn't consider it um, so anyway I, I text her hey can you just meet me outside I can't find your house so she she meets me outside and then she's like okay um, my parents want to meet you obviously because uh, they didn't want her going out with somebody who they hadn't met um, so we actually stood there outside our house for like an hour in her backyard talking to her parents I don't remember exactly what about I know they asked me about myself, they asked, like, I, I told them I was a firefighter, at the time I was, I'm not anymore if you guys didn't know that, um, uh, that I was, um, I wasn't an EMT at the time, um, I had already finished EMT school, but then I was like studying to become an EMT, uh, and then I was a volunteer at my ambulance, so, um, and I told them where I went to school, um, and like you know the basic questions that every parent wants to know about their daughter's potential boyfriend um, so eventually we leave to go to putt putt and she's like hey my brother and uh, his friends want to go midnight bowling you want to come I'm like yeah sure I'll just text my dad real quick and he's like and my dad's like yeah sure whatever it's cool so her and I are, putt, are at putt putt having, having fun kind of we didn't even keep score I don't think um, it was a lot of fun I actually knew the, the girl working the counter because I know people everywhere, you guys, if you ever spend a day with me, would learn that very quickly, that I know almost everybody. Um, it seems like everywhere I go I know somebody, and it's awesome. But at the same time, when you're on a date, it's bad. But anyway, um, so we get back to her house, we chill in her house for a little bit. Um, in, we were in her basement, and just I, kinda, I met her brother, talked to her brother. Um, so yeah, then we go bowling. And I don't remember who won bowling, doesn't really matter, but it was her brother, his friend Jude, me, and Jack. Um, her brother's name is Jeff, so I'm going to call him Jeff. 
So they joked about uh, calling me John, and because I was the only person whose name didn't begin with a J, and I think they actually put me on the scoreboard as John, which was fine with me. John's my favorite name, so whatever. They called me John. It's my confirmation name. So they were calling me my confirmation name, um, and it flowed with the with the J's. So it was. It was, that was kind of funny, and I felt like her brother was very welcoming to me. So then, I, like I said, I don't remember who won. Um, I think we only played yeah, we played two games. Uh, I know I did terrible in one of them, and the other one I did okay. Um, we get back to her house. It's like probably 12:30 at this point. Um, so we didn't. It wasn't actually midnight bowling. It was like 10:30 ish, and we finished at like 12. So we get back to her house, and I'm saying like goodbye because I have to go home, obviously. And her brother goes, "So do you guys go out?" And her and I just looked at each other like, "Uh, do we?" And um, yeah. So her and I talked about it, and I was like, "What would you think about that?" And she said, "Yeah." So. That's one of my best memories because that was just such an awkward but amazing night. Um, it was so funny. Um, and yeah, so now she's in my life and hopefully she stays for a while. So yeah. Um, but that's not the story of nearly the story of how we met. That's a whole nother video, but I want her to be a part of that video. Um, because I think it would be cool for both telling that story. So it's a lot more in depth for that story. We definitely will talk about that on the channel though because it's such a cool story of how we met and stuff like that. Um, and then her getting to know you stage and everything. So yeah, so like I said, another whole nother story. Um, but that's gonna do it for this video guys. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, be down in the description below. As always guys, we're Crazy HD. Thanks for watching, enjoy the ride. See you guys later.